morning everyone it is bright and early and I am working on making some cobblers today because our girls are coming over tomorrow and I wanted to have a little something of a dessert so I'm looking in my freezers in my pantry now I just recently did a video on this so I'm not gonna go full into detail but I'll share the tutorial video at the end of this one but I'm using this Tasha Tudor cookbook and I'm really enjoying you know we love to collect cookbooks and cookbooks are fun to look at but we really should cook in them as well and i have so many cookbooks that i'm really weeding them out and going through them i have a whole bag of stuff that's going to the thrift store tomorrow and it's really interesting to see the cookbooks that i have and enjoy reading them but make the food that's from them and so this is the tasha tudor one and it's so charming and when you buy a book used you can get it for 75 percent off the regular price so thrift books and amazon has used books and they're so nice to have because a hardcover cookbook is really nice to have in your hands i know a lot of people like having ebooks i don't like ebooks i don't read anything on a device i love the realness of the pages and I love to have something tangible in my hands like this that I can use. I'm gonna go ahead and mix all this together. I'm making a lot of it. We're gonna be making blueberry buckle and raspberry buckle today. Basically, it's all the same thing. We're just changing the fruits and using up the fruit from last year in the freezer. So what I'm doing is I'm doubling it. So I'm actually gonna make it twice, but I'm doubling it each time. So I'm gonna make one batch of the blueberry and then one batch of the raspberry. And basically we just mix it all in by hand and we put it in the pans. I love using utensils from the kitchen that was my mother's. And this is a very old antique that was given to me by one of you lovely people. And I just love it. So I'm using something in my mom's and I'm using something from many years ago. And it just is so nice to do things the old fashioned way sometimes. Yes, it's nice having bread machines and it's nice having mixers, but it's something special about making something by hand. All right, so we're gonna take our foil pans and we're gonna put our buckle, this is blueberry buckle, into these pans. And we're gonna bake them right in the pan. And we're just gonna do it all over again for the raspberry buckle. Now, Tasha Tudor called this coffee cake. My grandma always called it blueberry buckle. So to the modern people, it probably would be more of a coffee cake. And now we're just gonna blend in the blackberries. Now it does not look good. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you want to see my daily videos. About two years ago, I did a video on the mason jar and this is the pie crumbs in a jar. Absolutely amazing. It is a staple in our home. If you're interested in the mason jar, the pie crumbs in a jar, so that would be for muffins, for pie crumbs, for the shortcake, for all kinds of baked goods, check out the video at the end of this one. I will have an I card. All you have to do is click on it, and that is the mason jar crumbs in a jar. That will last anywhere from three to four years. Absolutely an amazing recipe. Now time to clean up the kitchen. Baking is a lot of fun, but sure is a lot of cleanup.
everybody. Today we're going to have a product review and that is this mandolin slicer. It is a three in one. Today you find me in my kitchen. We're going to use this and we'll see how well it works. Let's open it up out of the box. All right, first thing I want to show you is it does have its own cleaning tool, which really comes in handy because these can be difficult to clean. This is the cleaning brush. It does have the gloves, which is very important to wear the gloves. It's an extra step, but I tell you, you'll be glad you have. So this is the slicer, like this. And we're gonna go ahead and put it together. All right, so you have your attachment like this, and you can put your lemon in. I'm gonna do a lemon demonstrate. And then you're gonna take it and you're going to slide it across the mandolin. See how nice that cuts? Cuts absolutely amazing. Hello everyone, it's me, Homestead Tessie. Today we are gonna have a product review of this knife. I'm gonna open up out of the box and show you what's inside. Here is the knife. Let's open it up and show you exactly what it looks like. It also comes with a knife sharpener. There's the knife sharpener, a nice little handy tool to have for your knives. As you can see, it has a beautiful blade on it with an intricate design. It is a solid knife. There is no double pieces to it. So it's one knife like this. In other words, there's no kind of hinges or separation here. It's all one piece of metal. All right, we're going to take the knife and we're going to see how well it cuts. As you can see, it cuts very nice into this piece of bread. Very, very sharp. Be careful when you use it. But it is a great knife to have for all of your needs. And it's very beautiful design as well. 